Thanks for joining me today and learning three amazing things you didn't know about Excel. Let's get started with our first amazing thing, conditional formatting. Think of conditional formatting as an if and then statement. For instance, if my number is less than four, then color them red. Let's see how we do this with our first example. First, I will select the data I want to apply conditional formatting to. Next, we will navigate to our Home tab and select Conditional Formatting. Select Highlight Cell Rules and select Less Than. We will enter the threshold value and the format we would like to see when our conditions are met. Then press OK. Now it's time to test the conditional formatting that we applied to those cells. Let's see another example of that. I'm going to select the data here, go to conditional formatting, select highlight cell rules, and select text that contains. I'm going to change the text to blue and set a condition. This time I'll choose custom format and I'll choose fill on the tab on the top and select blue. Last thing, press OK and OK again. And you'll see based on the conditional formatting, the cell is now highlighted blue. Let's take a look at the second amazing thing, people graph. People graph transforms boring raw data into a visual representation. In my example, I have service and users. The services are ranked as basic, advanced, and premium. This example will give us visual insights on the subscribed users and their respected service. First, navigate to the Insert tab and select People Graph. You will see an object appear, and you may need to allow or trust the add-on if this is their first time using this. Once you trust the add-in, it should appear like it does on my screen. We will select the new object by left-clicking it. You will notice two icons at the top appear. One will look like a graph, called Data, and the other will look like a gear, called Settings. Select the Data icon. Add a title by entering text into the text field provided. Click the Select Your Data button, and select two columns of data that match the sample data picture provided then click Create. Now let's go back to the settings icon and customize the appearance. From here we can change the type, the theme, and also the shapes of the icons. Pretty amazing, right? And for the third amazing thing, Office Themes. Office Themes gives you the ability to change the background color of the application. The dark theme is my favorite, and if you're an Office 365 subscriber, they now offer a black theme that is great for reducing eye strain. To configure these themes, navigate to File, and select Account. You will see a drop-down bar below Office Theme. Click the bar and select your theme. That's it for now. That was three amazing things you didn't know about Excel. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and keep a lookout for my next three things you didn't know video.